Thank you very much. My name is Musa Jeng. I am representing D30 Foundation from the U.S. On behalf of our chairman, Chernoba, I say assalamu alaikum to each and every one of you. Um, so before we start it, we want to make like at least have a moment of silence for the people that pay the ultimate price, Lamin Sane, Njaga Jan, and Enen Jaja Nyas. So please, let's all have a moment of silence. Thank you very much. <clears throat> what we want to do today is to basically show Gambians here at home and also abroad the very heroes that set the tone to bring about the very change that every Gambian today is saying, wow, we finally got the change. These are the heroes, guys, in the diaspora. And we're going to go ahead and introduce each and every one of them, starting with on my left. Um, Assalamu alaikum, Moki Gambiansi. I am Private Njai Mudu, Mudu Njai. I was involved in the December 30th attack. That was, uh, anyway. My name is Lieutenant Muba Sane. Thank you. You also involved in the attack? 30th December. Mm. Okay. I'm Captain Abdullah Job, you know, convicted and jailed in connection with the December 30th attack, 2014. Thank you. I am Lieutenant Colonel Sadio Jaju. I was also convicted and jailed, um, sentenced to death mm -hmm. for my involvement in the 30th, or 30th, December 30th, 2014 attack on the State House. I am Captain Buba Keboya, also convicted for life sentence. Of the December attack. Left that I'm on top. December attack. Okay, thank you. Again, I'm here with uh, my main man, also D30 member, Eunice Hydera from Scotland. And um, folks, after the December 30th incident, we all knew what happened. Some people paid the ultimate price, like I said, Njaga Jain. Jajanyas, Laminsane. There are also other folks, other heroes in the U.S. that were jailed. This is Chornanjai, Baro, Bankamane, and um, Papa Fal. Folks, in the U.S., what they had to do was they had to go back, back in the 17th century, and pull up what they call the Neutrality Act to sentence these people. After the incident, we decided to form a foundation because we believe we will never be able to allow these people to be forgotten, the people that paid the ultimate price, and you guys, the heroes. And we thought it was important to create a foundation to, put, to make sure that that memory is alive. What the foundation was supposed to do is to make sure that your kids, we will, they will never be able to be left behind, that we will be there to assist them in every way possible. So that is one of the fundamental components of this D30 Foundation. The second one, of course, was to make sure to pursue democracy and bring about change. And you can see, coincidentally, that's what happened. I can assure you, what you guys did, that's what led to the change. Because it created an awareness in the diaspora. We were able to raise the funds. And with that, we were able to bring an end to tyranny. So, thank you very much, Jerry Jeff, for what you have done. We will continue to coordinate. We will make sure that you guys will never be forgotten. We are going to be working with the transitional government to remind them that these are the people that paid the price. These are the people that did the, well, I mean, the sacrifice that was necessary to bring about the change. So what we want to do today, this afternoon, that we have something from the organization that we will present to each and every one of you, just to say thank you for what you have done for our country and thank you for what you have done for um, bring about the peaceful transition in the Gambia. Thank you very much. So if you can Thank you. grab the... Um, and, Thank you very um, so before much we do that... For your sacrifice and, and to bring about the change. Um, is, uh, we appreciate your patriotism, your love for country, and for humanity in general. 
Um, so on behalf of my family, uh, my brother Papa was also involved, and and you know the Gambian people uh, as a whole. I'd like to say thank you very much for your sacrifice. We appreciate it. It brought it it, it, it demystified Jame, like Musa, Musa uh, Jeng said, uh, and that the sub followed subsequent events, which led to the uh, ultimate. Uh, end of tyranny in this country. So now everyone's happy, and may God um, reward you for your sacrifice mm -hmm. abundantly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. So we thank do the presentation. Much. So we just have this token of appreciation from the organization on behalf of our chairman, Chornoba, who lives in Minnesota. We just want to, I mean, um, so we can start with um, Mr. Njai. You can just come forward. I mean, so this is basically token of appreciation. Thank you very much, Musa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Musa. Sane, you can come forward, Sane. Thank you very much for what you've done. We really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I think I should stand there. So you go there so the, the sun won't shine very much. Thank you very much, my boy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for your sacrifice. One of them. You want to check that? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much on behalf thank of the Gambian people. And may God bless you for your patriotism and everything uh, that you've done for your country, serving in the military and also